Welcome back. So today I'm super excited. I've been messing with this recipe for quite some time and I finally perfected it. I'm super excited. It is our buttermilk pancake biscuit and they are so delicious and so easy. So today we are going to use four cups of our buttermilk pancake mix. It's so fluffy. As you can see, I like to keep everything super cold. So I refrigerate the bowl, I freeze my butter, and I will explain why. So to that four cups, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I add an eighth of teaspoon of baking soda because our mix does have baking soda in it, so it just needs a half of a fourth, which is not that much. Then um, I put baking powder in it, and I use a half of tablespoon of baking powder. Then I add a dash of cinnamon. Yes, it sounds a little bit different, and it is, but I'm telling you, it adds just a little bit of heat to the biscuit and is super delicious. So make sure that when you add all your dry ingredients, you com I use a whisk and combine them all super good. So once that is done, I take my frozen butter and I'm gonna switch places. So I take frozen butter and biscuits, you want little pockets of hidden butter that just melt perfectly and create those layers that you want in biscuits. Now, you can grate your frozen butter with a cheese grater, or I just use a knife and chop it. biscuits that are out on the market are super dry and that's not how I like mine um, and I think you'll like these too. So I add the cold butter into the mix. To this I'm going to add two and a fourth cups of buttermilk. So I kind of go and I don't, I'm just trying to push all the dry and the wet together and you do not want to over stir this. And so I'm just making sure that all the dry and the wet kind of are combined because we are gonna need it on the counter. So two tablespoons of honey into this mixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our turkey flour, that's our bread flour, and I'm going to dust the countertop. And don't be scared of the mess. It's super simple to clean up and super quick. So the dough is gonna be a little bit wet, wetter than normal. And so that's why I add so much. And I even, I probably add up to a half a cup of our turkey flour as I'm kneading it into a rectangle shape. It's pretty sticky. And so what I do, is I just keep kneading, you know, more flour on each side as I flip it and turn it. Okay, you do not want to overwork your dough because the more that you work it, it's gonna melt those little pads of butter that you want in it. So now, sometimes I don't wanna mess with a rolling pin because my hands are so dirty, but you can actually, just make a rectangle and put, keep pushing it to how thick you want it. That is how I like to do it. It's probably, it, you can do anywhere from a half inch to an inch. And what I like to do is you can use the end of a cup, but I have a biscuit cutter. And you can do these in rectangles where you use your bench scraper and you cut it 
into four and then across the center. And there are times that I like to double it up, um, but for time I'm not gonna do that. And what I mean by that is I press it a lot thinner and then I add two circles together um, for all the layers of butter. So before you cut into it, you really need to make sure that you put flour on this and it's super simple. You just push and it's like the perfect biscuit shape every time. So I try to work as fast as I can and I try to move them out. And then with your extra dough, I just push it back together and knead it for a minute and use that rest of the dough. Now that they're shaped, you want to spread these out a little bit further than I would with cookies. So it gives them enough room to bake all around it. The next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna put this in the freezer for about anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And then they go into an oven at 350 for about 18 minutes. But I have a really good topping before we put it in the oven. So let me put this in the freezer and I'll be right back. While that is still in the freezer, you take about a tablespoon of butter to three tablespoons of honey and this is what we are going to put on the top of the biscuits. And I'm telling you, there's nothing better than this on the top and it kind of crystallizes and it is delicious. So you just melt it and down and it is the perfect topping to your biscuits. So these are done and they smell so good. I wish everyone were here to taste one with me, but these, I'm telling you, you need to try them and let us know. But please go like and subscribe. Let us know what you want us to YouTube next. And we will pick a winner every time with our YouTube comments and send you a PR box so you can try these for yourself. My favorite way is to eat them warm, but they're a little hot still, but I love putting butter, more butter, or using honey or one of our jams. They're delicious. Bye. Mm.